thank you guys for the opportunity to talk about this this incredible incredible project. Uh, let me start. Um, let me start with you, uh, Julian. Uh, golf, golf is not is not very it's not a it's not a typical uh, sport in cinema. Perhaps maybe because of the latest perception it may have, or maybe because many people do not understand it. Uh, and 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 in this film you have Latinos playing golf, which is like you know more strange. Uh, however, this this mix is precisely one of the main attractions of of, of the film. So how how did you react when you received the the script for the film? Yeah, so first and foremost, um, the fact that it's a Latino story, um, right away, I felt connected to it. Um, and then the fact that it's a true story, just added a little bit more depth to uh, depth to to what I felt about the story because it's it's true. And um, so just a true Latino story. And then on top of that, having golf incorporated, it's a sport that I actually played before I even did the movie. And I love to play. I love the game. So it was that was just the cherry on top for me, but um, but I right away I like I said the the main things that connected to me uh, was it being a Latino story and it being a true story for sure. Excellent, thank you for that. I agree hundred percent. Paulina, the first thing I have to tell you is my nine year old daughter just screamed last night when we were watching the the, the film because she's oh that's actually that's actually got to see yeah. So uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for such an incredible performance of, 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 and for being a, such an inspiration for my daughter. Um, let me ask you uh, something I liked about your character is that not only is Joe's romantic interest, but she also has dreams and she's not going to let it let a boy ruin them uh, mm -hmm. for her. So um, and we're, we're seeing this more and more in, in films throughout the years. So what was it like working? On the uh, on this aspect, this specific aspect of the film. Oh my goodness! I feel like characters like this kind of just find me when when I read the script. First of all, I mean it's based on a true story, and I am from Texas, and I didn't even know of this story, and so I thought that was crazy in itself. And then getting to read um, Daniela's pieces, I I just knew that I needed to be in this film from the beginning, and um, yeah, I mean women are, are women are amazing i and latinas are just incredible and so to have them showcase in this film as as more is is amazing and and we do have brains and and we have thoughts and and having daniela just being so um outspoken and knowing what she wants is is amazing and um i think the the women in this in this film very much are the definition of behind every successful man is a great woman mm -hmm. Um, and, yeah. and that's, 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 that's Daniela and I'm, I'm just so honored. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. So uh, one last question, Julian, do you, how, how do you see Latinos advancing in the, within the industry? Uh, uh, you may have, you know, there's so many movements. We started with the Oscar, so why the, the Me Too movement? And, but, but I think that the, the, the industry is advancing in terms of diversity, uh, representation, so what can you say about where, where we are right now as Latinos in Hollywood and what do you think we, we need to do to, you know, to keep uh, moving forward? No, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, with, there were so many movements going on in Hollywood, uh, you know, around the time when we were shooting this, you know, the whole George Floyd incident happened, like it, that was a hot topic. The black community, you know, came together and they were able to move forward and, and make projects in Hollywood. So I sort of feel like right now is the time for us um, and, and we're doing it, and, but it starts off with the support, you know. Este película más, es muy, you know, importante por nuestra cultura. It's very important for our culture so we could go and we need to support, unless we want these stories told, we need the support in the box office. So I just hope that everyone, you know, gathers around it and really, you know, goes to the movie theater and, and, and you know, buys a ticket to watch this because, you know, the people up top, the studio heads, uh, they're all about numbers and um, once they see that you know there is a fan base and that we do have you know people that will go out and support our movies then more stories like this will be told for sure excellent beautiful thank you for that latina uh, paulina what do you think about the same uh aspect or the same uh question oh my goodness yeah i mean i agree with with everything that julian said um yeah i, I think it's so important to support us and support mm -hmm. each other I think that's like exactly. the biggest thing that all of us get together and and raise each other and promote each other 
um, and create our own content. And this movie is is very much that opening to continue telling these stories because there are so many stories out there that we are very much unaware of that is not written in our history books and yep. we need to tell them. And that's kind of our our responsibility and kind of what I want to be doing and continue to do. Um, but yes, I, I do believe that that we are we are making noise and we are going to continue making noise and we're not going to be silent. And I mean, our film is being screened at the White House, which is so amazing and wow. and, and something that I that's I, awesome. I, I just a little girl from Texas, <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, wow, that's so freaking cool, and awesome, and 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 we're getting to we're getting to do that. That's really uh, just inspiring in itself. So when you received the script, how was your reaction about not only your character, but the story. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's not something that we see often. And, and as Latinos, you know, we kind of get pigeonholed into certain roles. And seeing Latinos play golf is not something that you see almost ever. You know, there are many uh, Latino golf players, but they're not in the spotlight. So exactly. I got the story. Um, being able to portray something other than, I don't know, a gang member or something like that or, or a regular worker, I thought that that was really special, you know, and try to expose a different side of, of Latinos. And, and this, it's a true story that I never heard about. And uh, once I read the script, I was just floored and, and, and wanted to be a part of it so bad. You know, it's an honor to play these characters and, and their stories are absolutely incredible, as you know. Yeah, it, it was awesome. So, um, Jose Julian, uh, you worked on, on spare parts, uh, with, uh, also with, with Demian in A uh, Better Life. Now now you're in this film that goes way beyond representation uh, and, and that deals uh, in, a, in a smart way with discrimination and racism uh, uh, that is still experienced in, in many, many countries. How do you compare this experience versus the films I mentioned that tackles the same challenges that Latino has to face every day, um, but you know, in, in, a, in a different way? Pues, este, this time it had more to do with the past, you know, because the other the other films were had a more contemporary setting. Yeah, right. um, uh, but th this one, you know, you go, you go, we're going back, you know, 100 years, 80 years, you know, so that that's another uh, uh, element of the of that experience that wasn't like those other films, you know, where this time, you know, that like if you if you thought it was bad in 2002, think, like think about what it was like. 19 you know in the 1950s i agree i agree uh beautiful so um miguel have you worked before with with, with dennis uh dennis quay so how was how was this reunion after the big miracle <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i mean it's 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 great you know um dennis is such has such a illustrious career he's worked for so long he's a professional and um I mean, such an honor to have two projects with him, honestly. Uh, just very excited for this go around even before we started. And, um, you know, we learned, I learned even more about him this time, you know, his love for golf and, and um, you know, how he shows up on set. I mean, it, as a young actor trying to go up the ranks, uh, what an honor to have such an amazing cast where we can kind of, you know, learn from and, and, and move forward in our career. Excellent. There, there's. I'm gonna ask you a question for the both of you. There's, there's a sequence. There's just this scene that that really shook me, and 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 it's when 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 you guys, your characters goes to go to Mexico. Um, you, you, your characters also feel felt the rejection of your fellow Me Mexican Mexicanos, uh, uh, and this is one of the stigmas of being maybe a Latino born and raised in the states or from uh or from Mexican you know descent. Uh, in the states, so as artists, have you have you felt that that rejection? Let me start with you, uh, Jose. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I I remember reading a, a book, you know, a long time ago uh, about a, uh, a Mexican American uh, DEA agent um, called uh, uh, Pow um, Power of the Dog, and oh, yeah. in in it he describes that exact feeling where he says. When you're when you're Latino American, it's like you got your foot in both worlds, but a place in neither. And I feel like that 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 quote always stuck with me. And I and I and I totally feel that. And I think that that's something that a lot of uh, people who aren't Latino Americans don't understand mm -hmm. about about that experience. You know that that it really does feel like you have your foot in both worlds, but you don't have a place in either one. You know. 
Uh, how about uh, you, Miguel Angel? What has been your, your experience? How has been your experience? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it, Jose was, you know, was right on the point. It, it, it's difficult, you know, us as Latinos in the United States, we don't feel like we're from here. When we go back to our home, you know, places where our parents are from, it's very difficult, you know, you're always gringuito or fresa or whatever they, they might say. So um, those themes, I think, are, are things that we go through, you know. Um, hopefully when people see the film, they can resonate with that sort of, uh, thing of, you know, feeling alone at times and, and, you know, choosing your community to bring you up. And I think that that's the part that's really important. You know, when you do have a community of filmmakers and people that are trying to bring each other up, wherever they're from, um, that type of energy is really important, you know, whether you are Latino or not. Excelente, muchachos, gracias. De verdad, se nota en pantalla, hace un trabajo espectacular y la química, como mencioné, fue una de las cosas que más me llamó la atención porque se proyecta de una forma real y, y natural. Así que gracias por el tremendo proyecto y, y saber que es una historia basada en la vida real me voló la cabeza. Así que eh, sí. espero mucho éxito, les deseo mucho éxito y que esta película llegue bien, 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 bien lejos y podamos seguir representando la cultura allá afuera. Ok, gracias, muchachos. Un fuerte abrazo desde Puerto Rico. Muchas gracias, muchachos. Muchas gracias, Felix.